Are there still any believers? Welcome, good day, and hello to Silent Time, the opportunity to think on what is really important in life. How about your impression? Do you sometimes feel there are hardly any people left who really believe in the Lord and walk with him? If we see the wickedness of the people, how much evil they do and that they are not thankful to the Lord, we sometimes have the impression that there is hardly anybody left. And yet there are still several decent people who closely walk with the Lord because God will never be without his people. There are always some left. In um, Luke 12, verse 32, it says, Do not be afraid, little flock, for your father is pleased to give you the kingdom. It is a little flock. There are not many. And it seems that has always been the case. A little flock who closely walks with the Lord, who helps other people, who supports the poor and so on. And also who come humbly and not in pride and arrogance. Because those who come humbly to the Lord, they are also forgiven and saved by the Lord. And that is the true church. A small group of people without high reputation. And the only thing they have is to rely on God. To rely on Jesus and on his cross, what he has done for us. In the false church, there might be a lot of splendor and beautiful appearance. But the real church that is small and often without such kind of thing. So let's pray for the church and be also pray for them and suffer where required and also teach and stay with the original preaching so we can pray for all that, that the devil may not overcome and not devour, but that we stay with the Lord who has all power and all might and all wisdom and all love. Lord, we thank you for your word and we ask for forgiveness where we do not contribute to your church, where we do not contribute to you and your kingdom, where we do not support others, where we do not help the poor and so on. Thank you for your love and for your forgiveness and for your grace. We pray that you support your people, all who walk with you, that you be with them and guide them and help them. That you be with us and strengthen us and guide us towards your eternal kingdom, where we praise your holy name forever. Amen.